Hello guys, let us start another episode of Plums. So today I'm back with the Geography MCQs. This is Divya and I hope you guys are doing really well. Doing really well with your preparation and, and you guys have joined, you know, uh, the test series. If you haven't, um, you're losing out on something. And uh, those who have, you guys are definitely going to clear exam. But still persistence and, uh, you know, consistency is the key. So now let us start guys. So, you know, the first question, so which of the following factors does not contribute to the formation of a rain shadow region? Okay, so you must be knowing what is a rain shadow region. So, options are or, uh, orographic precipitation, right? Then prevailing wind direction and altitude of the region. And you have distance from the coastline. Okay, so now let us see the answer. I think it's an easy one. Okay, so the rain shadows are not, uh, you know, they are formed by mountain blocking, you know, you know that uh, there are mountains and, you know, because of that, there, there forms the rain shadow region. There is also, uh, you know, moisture laden winds, which is involved in the, in the formation of rain shadow region, resulting in dry area. But the distance from the coastline does not directly affect the rain shadow formation. Okay, so all the three, orographic precipitation because of the mountains, then wind direction and altitude, uh, you know, they form rain shadow region. These are contributing factors, but distance from coastline isn't much. Now the second question, the Challenger Deep is located in which of the following oceanic trenches? Okay, I think it's an easy one. So... Let us see the answer. I mean, sorry, the options Mariana Trench, uh, B. Java Trench, Puerto Rico Trench, and then D. Philippine Trench. Okay, now let us see the answer. So, the answer is it is present in the Mariana Trench. Very easy question. It's in NCRT, guys. So, please, it is the deepest point in the, you know, in world's oceans, and it is present in the Western Pacific Ocean. Third question. So, concept of bioregions is closely associated with. Options are biodiversity hotspots, coral reef ecosystems, a a agroecological zones, tidal uh, wetlands. Okay, let us see the answer. So, bioregions are associated with the biodiversity hotspots. Okay, so you can, um, you know, term, term itself will explain itself. You know, the term is self explanatory. So, which are the regions uh, with, you know, high endemic species and significant habitat? There are criteria involved, you know, for a uh, site to be uh, considered as biodiversity hotspot and I have covered that question as well and in the you know uh, the environment lectures as well let us see the fourth question uh, which of the following is not an example of meandering river system okay meandering river system not an example so option is a Mississippi River B Amazon River C Brahmaputra River D the Nube River okay and you know guys I mean the uh, you know um, all these rivers are important and uh, you should be knowing world map uh, as well I mean Indian map is very, is important but world map is also very 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 important okay so river systems are obviously the favorites of favorite of India uh, UPSC so let's see the answer so Amazon River is not an example of the meandering river systems it is sinus okay it has winding channels and it occurs in the low gradient area so you know and this explains why no meandering okay so the fifth mcq the final mcq the walker circulation is associated which with one of the which one of the following climatic phenomena okay so options are el nino southern oscillation and so indian ocean dipole iod uh, north atlantic ocean uh, nao and then Pacific Decadal Oscillation PDO so answer is A okay El, uh, you know El Nino Southern Oscillation it is you know linked to the Walker circulation and it affects the weather pa patterns you know uh, during worldwide during the El Nino events right so with this we have completed today's MCQ and we'll be back with another set of five MCQs good ones for you so with, let's wind up now and please be consistent, uh, consistent and like and share these videos. Thank you.